Neno makuya inatokana na makabila matatu ambayo anashiriki hii ili tamasha maana wa makonde wa makua na wayao ndio haswa inawakilisha makabila matatu understanding of the country, you would not find the rich diversity of performing arts in other parts of the country. I mean, Mutwara, we need to remember, was very slow to develop in one of the latter parts of the country to, to be modernized, and there are various theories around that. There's one that the Portuguese and the Germans had an animosity, so they kept that as sort of a no man's land in between. There's the idea that the Maconde made intentionally um, themselves fierce. We saw that by the scarring of the faces, the filing of their teeth, the wearing of the endonia, and thus people avoided the area. For whatever the reasons are, it's one of the last areas of the country to develop, and thus traditional arts and traditional culture is much more, shall we say, living than you'll find in other more developed parts of the country. ngoma za kimakonde za asili kabisa kabisa ambazo hizo hazina mashaka popote atapokuwa anafika mtu anajua kwamba kweli ni ngoma ya kimakonde kuna mkocha kuna ngoma ambayo inaitwa likumbi maana ina hiyo ngoma ile ya kusema likumbi kwamba labda ya kuchezwa toto hapa ni linachezwa kabisa wenyewe uwanjani alafu kuna ngoma za kina mama likampela I Kongoma za kimakonde hizo. Lakini kwa asili kabisa kabisa kikocha. Well, we have the Makonde, we have the Makua, and we have the Yao. And the most famous of those groups are the Makonde because of their carving, but even in literature. Like David Livingston in his journeys traveling up the Ravuma River, stayed in Mikandani and wrote about the Makonde. In my thinking, very, very realistically, he probably met the Makua, but just didn't know it. Because in many ways, they look similar, the language is similar, they share traditions. So those two, you'll find very close similarity. And then you have the Yao, who actually populate much more heavily the area around Tundura, the next region over. Thank 
The dance that they're performing is what you will find in the village. And it's not just a paid gig. It's something they do, they enjoy, whether it's a wedding or circumcision. There may be points, levels of variation that exist that because we brought it out of the village and brought it into the community, there may be certain dances that they choose to do. Mwahira ni wamakua, hawa natoka mchauru, ambako mimi natoka. Hawa ni, ni wamakua, lakini wanacheza na mchezo wanaita mchezo wa, wa waze wa zamani. Kwamba wakati ule zamani kulikuwa na wanyama, na wanyama hawakuwa na mashari sana katika kuinda. Kwa hiyo ule wanaonyesha mchezo wa kuinda wanyama kwa mfano nyama waliomuonyesha pale ni paa paa ni kama mbuzi pori na zamani ulikuwa kwa desuri ni kwamba mtu anapokuwa na mawindoni akipata nyama akirudi anawagawia dada zake pamoja na chifu wa maeneo yake A lot of the performers had a reconnection to their culture. And the reason why that is, is many of the groups, particularly the younger ones, 
we required that the costuming be traditional and some of the dancing be traditional. And the only way for them to access that knowledge is to reconnect with their elders. And so you'll see the bark cloth, and you'll see the kanikis, and you'll see the feather headdresses. And a lot of that you would not have seen four years ago. And not because it wasn't authentic, but the youth didn't know about it. They were wearing baseball caps and other things, though, doing traditional dances. And so by requiring it be dressed traditionally as well as danced traditionally, um, a huge excitement and growth of costuming, new designs, traditional designs, and a real reconnection between the elders and the youth in many of the, the uh, villages was a very unexpected and a very exciting um, fallout from this. Zamani palikuwa wanatumia ngozi. Hasa ngozi na kuwa ngumu kula inika kwake. Ikawa wametumia mbinu ya kutafuta mti. Ni mti gani ambao tunaweza kubandua tukapata pengine ulaini ulaini tukapata shuka au nguo. Wakaja kuvumbua mti huo naita mchinji na mara nyingi haupatikani sehemu tu hivi isipokuwa sehemu za bonde bonde. Kwa hiyo walikuwa wameenda wakakata huo mti wakapima kipimo cha kutoka eneo la kiuno mpaka kwenye magoti wakaanza kugonga kwa kutumia angalao nyundo ama chuma yote ile unagonga mpaka unapata ulaini alafu unakunjua unatoa moja moja unaunganisha tayari unachukua mafuta ya nyonyo mafuta ya nyonyo unalainisha unapata nguo ya kuvaa na ina, ilikuwa inaishia kwenye kiuno huko chini kwenye magoti mwanamme hali kadhalika ndio hivyo hivyo baada ya hapo ikawa inaendelea pole 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 wakawa wanatengeneza mpaka e, kama vile blouse kwa kina mama na wanaume sisi wakawa tunatengeneza kisinglendi ndio ikawa inaendelea hali hiyo mpaka ilipofikia hatua kubadilika kupatikana mavazi lakini hili ilitokana na uadimu wa nguo zamani walikuwa wanatumia kwa kuvaa kabla ya ujio wa, wa, wa nguo na utakuta wa makonde wanatumia vile vile na wa makuo wanatumia wa yao kidogo lakini sana ni wa makonde na wa makuo ndio wanatumia sana I think it's realistic to believe that some of the costuming you see is creative invention. Um, one of the groups we see, they're the ones with the feathers and they're dancing like this, went from wearing vitenge and white t-shirts when we first saw them to wearing costumes very similar to the mats that you see, the technology. And my guess is very possible it's just creativity inspired by tradition. ndio wa makonde ambao wako pwani wanatumia sana kaniki wale wanavaa zile nguo nyeusi na ndizo ndizo haswa ambazo wanatumia mtwara una vikundi vingi vya ngoma vinaovyokilisha vinyago vinyago ni asili ya uwakilishi aidha wa mashetani uwakilishi wa binadamu na uwakilishi wa wanyama unaweza ukaona kikundi cha na mashamba ambacho kipo na nyumbu wao hucheza vinyago vya wanyama kwa mfano utakuta kama ndovu, simba, ngiri, aa, nguruwe. Utakuta 
katika vinyago vingine vinawakilisha uh, sura ambayo ni tofauti na wanyama kwa mfano ukichukua vinyago wanavyocheza watu wa Newala ni tofauti yake na vinyago wanavyocheza wa Makonde wa, wa Mozambiki ambao ni ndugu, ndugu wa karibu wao huwa wanavaa na macho yakiwa yakitazama usawa wakati lakini vinyago vya Newala vyote vinavyoitwa ngongoti kwa mfano ukiangalia kikundi cha Msela kilichopo uh, Mnyambaki pale Newala wao hucheza vinyago naitwa uh, ngongoti na ngongoti ha macho mara nyingi hutazama juu tofauti na vinyago kwa kilivyo kikundi cha na mashambura kama vinyago vyake nimekuja kuchonga vinyago mapiko kwa kualikwa na makuya ndio kazi ambayo imeanza kama nilivyosema mwaka na mbili kuchonga vinyago na hivi walivyokuwa wanacheza hawa watoto wangu hawa ya kuchonga mimi kwa hiyo ndio kazi ambayo naifanya lakini ni mkulima sio kazi yangu hii nyumbani huko ni mkulima na ukiangalia katika vinyago hivi wakilishi wake kwa mfano kikundi cha maduru kilichopo mtibulimbi pale utakuta wakilishi wa shetani upo kwa sababu sura ya kinyago kile ni kina masikio makubwa kitu ambacho kwa binadamu wa kawaida sivyo alivyo na hii inasaidia uh, sana katika jamii kuifundisha watoto aidha kuna tabia njema Often they won't tell you the stories behind things or behind objects. Even the mask dancing, we know that traditionally you would never know who the dancer was. They would leave the village. The person who's the dancer, and most people would know who someone was a dancer, would say, I have to go visit my, my auntie. She's sick in the next village. I'll be back in a week. Then during the week, there's a big dance, and he comes and dances. And then we'll leave again, and no one will ever actually know who it was, or probably dominantly the children. But there's that sense of magic, that sense of secrecy in the mask dancing, but I know also in other rituals and activities of life. Thank you.
kwa sababu ni ngozi za wanyama inapokuwa kwenye baridi zinajikunja lakini kukiwa na joto basi zina zinanyooka na inaweza kusaidia sauti kutoka vizuri ndio maana hasa wanaweka kwenye moto ili kuweza kupata sauti haswa inayokusudiwa katika makabila ya matatu wanacheza ngoma tofauti tofauti na ngoma zote za makonde nyingi uchezwa kwa kutumia miti migumu sana kwa kugonga lakini ile ya wayao na makuwa wanatumia uh, mikono na kati kati ya, ya ngoma zao huweka mpira kubadilisha mlio quite striking to me is that we had 20 groups from only three different tribal groups and a, probably 15 very distinct performance style. Siku moja nikalala usiku. Nikalota. Napiga ngoma 11. Nikawaambiwa na kikundi wenzangu ambao nilie kiwapigia kikundi hicho kilikuwa kikundi cha masewe majembe mwenye kitu wangu alikuwa Said Lusonga. Nikamwambia mzee mwenyekiti naona twende porini tukakate ngoma tukakate miti tuchonge ngoma mimi nimelota usiku ninapiga ngoma kumi na moja. na inabidi tuondoka hapa tukachezee porini kawa nimeondoka nimefika kule baada ya kuwezeka ngoma tukaondoka tukwenda nikapiga ngoma zile moja kwa moja ngoma kumi na moja. asubuhi yake siku ya tatu nikaweka mbili zikawa kumi na tatu. Tamasha la makuya ni fundisho kubwa. Alafu inaweza kutosha kama ni sekondari. Tunapofika kule, tunakutana makabila mbali mbali. Wa makonde, wa yao, wa makuwa. Yani ni watu wengi tu, watoto, wakubwa. Mimi naone na nufaisha sana kwa sababu ndiyo ambapo ninapokuenda nikapata uyuzi. Pale tunavyo kutana naona na chukua kitu kidogo kidogo pale. Wao wananichukua mimi. Wanasoma kwangu na mimi nasoma kwao. Kwa hiyo ninafurahi nayo sana hilo tamasha. Ndongo mbali. Kuna mabibi kubwa kubwa. Ndio vijana wanasikiliza muziki ya kimagharibi, wanasikiliza hip hop, wana bongo flavor na kadhalika na wanapenda lakini ni muhimu sana vile vile vijana kusikiliza ngoma za kiasili na utakuta kwamba wakisikiliza wakiona wanahemuka kama vile wanavyocheza bongo flavor hip hop kwa mfano sindiba ya kimakonde kijana hawezi kukaa chini inapochezwa inamfanya pate nguvu inamfanya sky chini anacheza ana, ana, anajisikia ah kumbe si Afrika tuna kitu ambacho tunaweza tukawapa watu kwa hiyo tamasha la makuu ya si kucheza tu ni kurudisha watu nyuma walikotoka kucheza kufurahi wazee walikuwa na furahi kwa hiyo tunawarudisha nyuma vijana wale kuhusisha na nini ambacho kina, kilikuwa kinaendelea zamani